Oh my god, playing Minecraft like this is so boring. Good thing I could just press a button and get shaders working in Minecraft in 2023. And this is Minecraft Java. So if you want to learn how to add shaders to Minecraft Java in 2023, you have come to the right place because I'm going to show you how to download and install shaders and how to fix any issues you might have along the way. So make sure you watch this video until the end and let's get started with the guide. There might be multiple ways of adding shaders to Minecraft. In this guide, we're going to cover the two main ways, the ways that allow you to add shaders and not only add shaders, but also increase your performance, increase your FPS, and just make Minecraft a smoother game. Now, of course, in the future, we might be making more guides on how to add shaders through a different process. But in this guide, like I said, we're going to cover the main ones, the most popular ones and the ones that work for everybody. So the first way to add shaders to Minecraft is using Optifine. Now, many of you probably heard of Optifine in the past. Optifine will allow you to add shaders and also will help increase your FPS and your performance, just like I said before. Now, the good thing about Optifine is that it's pretty straightforward to install. It's pretty easy. The bad thing is that sometimes it doesn't get updated that fast as soon as a new version of minecraft comes out it usually takes a couple of weeks to update however i'm going to show you how to download and install optifine and this is the first way we are able to add shaders to minecraft so to install optifine just click on the second link in the description which will bring you to of course a written guide on how to download and install optifine here you can look at the photos you can read through the steps if this video is too fast for you however i'm assuming most of you are able to follow along and what we are going to do to install optifine is to scroll down and we're going to click where it says download optifine here that is going to redirect to to the Optifine official website. Now in here, as you can see, it says Minecraft 1.19.4, and that is because at the moment of making this video, that is the most recent version of Minecraft. However, in the future, you might be watching this and the newest Minecraft might be 1.20, 1.20.1, or something like that. Whatever the case might be, you could always click on show all versions if you are looking for a specific version of Minecraft. In this case, we're going to install the newest one, which is 1.19.4. In order to do so, just click where it says download. That is going to redirect you over here, where you're not going to click anything, you are going to wait five seconds. Very important you don't click anything until a button label as a skip appears on the top right as you can see right here and then go ahead and click on that. That is going to redirect you over here where you're finally going to click download and Optifine will start downloading. That is pretty much how to download Optifine and in order to install Optifine it's also pretty pretty fast. All you have to do is get the installer file which is right here as you can see I'm waiting for it to finish. Once that little blue line goes away that means our file has finished downloading. Also if you can find your file when it downloads you could also find it in your downloads folder in your PC. Once you have the file I recommend you drop it into your desktop and in order to install Optifine all you have to do is just double click Optifine and that is going to start the installation. Once the installer opens you just click install and Optifine will install just like this just click install and there you go Optifine is installed successfully. Now here's a little secret if Optifine gave you any issues while you were installing it that is because you probably have an outdated version of Java. If you stay until the end of this video I'm going to teach you how to update the Java installation on your computer in order to install any mods to Minecraft in order to add any shaders and shader loaders like Optifine or any other shader loader that we might install on this guide. So make sure you watch the video until the end to fix any issues you might have while installing Optifine. Anyways, once Optifine is installed, you can add shaders pretty easy and I'm also going to show you how to do that. Anyways, go ahead and click OK where it says Optifine is successfully installed and now we just need some shaders. So let's go ahead and download some shaders real quick to test Optifine and then move on for the second wave. By the way, the shaders we download, they will work with Optifine and they will work with any other software that we use to run our shaders on Minecraft. So let's go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install BSL shaders. Once in here, scroll down until you see download BSL here, click on that button and that is going to redirect you to CurseForge. Once in here, go ahead and click on files. And then once you're in the files tab, just find the matching version for your Optifine. So let's say that you install Optifine 1.20. In the future, when you come here, you probably will see Optifine 1.20 in here. In this guide, we install Optifine 1.19.4. So we're going to download the matching version. However, BSL hasn't been updated to 1.19.4 yet. So we could download 1.19.3 because it is still compatible. As a matter of fact, Optifine 1.19.4 is compatible with any BSL above 1.19. So we're going to download the 1.19.3 by clicking on download file. And then we're going to wait five seconds and the download will start automatically. I'm going to drag that file into my desktop as well, just like I did with Optifine. So find the file in your downloads folder or in your browser, just like me, and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now, remember, we already installed Optifine, so we could even delete the installer for Optifine. And keep in mind that if you had any issues installing shaders, I'm going to show you how to fix that at the end of this video. So don't click out. Now, once we have the shaders, in order to add them to Optifine, all you have to do is launch your Minecraft launcher. So go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher as you would at any moment to play Minecraft. 
and it actually opened over here in my other screen. And then once your launcher has opened, if you install Optifine properly, it will show down here, automatically selected. And in order to add shaders, all you have to do is click on play. So launch Optifine, right? Launch Minecraft with Optifine, our little Optifine installation. And then once you're in the world, in order to add the shaders, all you have to do is press escape, click on options, go to video settings. As you will see, this little menu has changed. That is another feature of Optifine. And then in here, click on shaders, click on shader folders. And then in here, you're going to drag and drop our file from earlier, BSL, we're gonna drag and drop it into there. Now we have BSL inside the shader packs and we could go back to the game and as you can see, BSL appear here. So that is the shaders that we downloaded. However, you could download any shaders that you want and we have multiple guides on how to download other shaders. So once you have the shaders in the game, just click on it, right? And that is going to select the shaders and that is going to apply it. Now give it a second because it might take a little bit to load the shaders. Once you're done loading the shaders, click on done, done. And as you can see, we now have shaders. And another cool feature of Optifine, not only is it that you can add shaders, but if you press C once you're in the game, you could actually zoom in. So you could get that Optifine zoom, which is pretty, pretty cool. And that is another feature of Optifine besides adding shaders. Now let's move on to the second way of adding shaders. And before I tell you the second way of adding shaders to Minecraft, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server where you can play with your friends on Java or Bedrock 24 seven, a server that is open the whole time, then Apex Hosting is the right place for you. They're offering 25% off for those of you that use the first link in the description. If you use the first link to create your first Minecraft server, you get a pre Pretty, pretty big discount. So that is an option for you guys. I run my own Bedrock server with Apex Hosting and it is great. One of the things I really love is that you could actually access the server console through your phone. So you could be away from home, you could be at Walmart and you could kick people out of your server. You could OP people, you could ban people, you could do whatever you want from your phone accessing the server console. So I'm gonna leave that link in the description, 25% off with Apex Hosting. And let's keep going with the second way of adding shaders. The second way to add shaders to Minecraft is using Iris shaders. And here's what I love about Iris. Remember that Optifine takes a little bit to get updated. Like after a new version of Minecraft comes out, let's say 1.20 comes out, then Optifine will take a couple weeks before it gets the 1.20 version working. Well, Iris is the total opposite. And this is not an exaggeration. I tell you that I have seen Iris being updated to the newest version of Minecraft in the same day the newer version of Minecraft comes out. I'm not lying, Iris gets updated real, real quick. The only downside of Iris is that it's not compatible with that many mods because Iris runs on Fabric and as you might know, Fabric has less mods, but that is a whole different topic in this video. We just wanna get shaders, so I'm going to show you how to get Iris. Go ahead and click on the fourth link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install Iris. You can read through the guide, but I'm assuming you just wanna follow along the video. Once in here, go ahead and click where it says download Iris here. That is going to redirect you to the Iris official website. In here, you're going to click where it says download now. That is going to redirect you over here and you're going to click download universal jar. That is going to start the download already for Iris. Once you have the Iris installer, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop, just like that. And to install Iris, pretty straightforward again, just go ahead and launch it. Go ahead and double click the installer and that is going to start the installation for Iris. As you can see, it lets you select what game version you want. And that is another cool thing of Iris. You don't have to manually download the version that you want. You could just select the version that you want from the installer. So as you can see, we have 1.19.4 in here. Go ahead and select the one that you want. In this moment, 1.19.4 is the newest one. So that's the one we're going to install. And then just go ahead and click install after. And that is going to install Iris for you. Pretty, pretty straightforward as well. Pretty easy, just like Optifine really. And then once Iris has finished installing, it will say down here, complete it. Just like you can see, you could go ahead and close out from the installer and you could even delete the installer now because we don't need it anymore. Go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher. And also if Iris was giving you any issues to install, I will show you how to fix that at the end of this video. Just like I'm gonna show you how to fix the Optifine installer if you were getting any Issue. So go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And if we install Iris properly, as you can see, Iris should be selected automatically down here, just like Optifine was. And how do you add shaders to Iris? Well, it's pretty, pretty simple. Go ahead and click play. Go ahead and open your Minecraft with Iris. And I'm assuming you already have shaders because we downloaded BSL earlier. So I'm assuming you still have BSL and you could actually download whatever shaders you prefer, okay? You don't have to download BSL like I did. You could download complementary shaders. You could download shielder shaders, any shaders that you like. Anyways, once Iris has opened, go ahead and click on single player or multiplayer, doesn't matter. Shaders will work on servers or not. And once you're inside the game, go ahead and press escape, head over to options, click on video settings, click on shader packs right here on the top, and then you can select your shaders. As you can see, we already have BSL shaders in here because we just added it earlier. However, if you don't have any shaders in here, just click where it says open shader pack folder and drag and drop your shaders into this folder. We have BSL because we added it earlier. If you don't have any shaders, just rewind this video and you will see how to add these shaders into this folder. Okay, pretty, pretty simple. Go ahead and select your shaders, click apply, 
and then once they load give it a second it might take a minute it might take 10 seconds it really depends on your computer once you have the shaders click on apply done done go back to the game as you can see we have shaders something that is really really useful with itis is that if you press k the shaders actually unload and if you press k again they load back on and that is pretty pretty useful because i use it all the time when i'm playing on my survival hardcore world and that is pretty much the second way of adding shaders to minecraft iris shaders is one of the most popular ways to add shaders just like optifine and now i'm going to show you how to fix any issues that you might have along the way so let's go ahead and head into that so you made it to this part of the video because you had issues installing your shaders you had issues installing optifine or installing iris and that my friend probably is because you have an outdated version of java now here's the thing any Minecraft above 1.16.4 will require you to have Java 17 installed on your computer. And in order to install Java 17, we have a guide on how to do so. So I'm going to leave that link in the description to download and install Java 17. Now, it's very important that you do this because if you have an outdated version of Java, Optifine and Iris won't install. As a matter of fact, they might even open as a zip file. They might open as a text document. They might not even open at all. Just launch a website. Just update Java. It's very simple. I'm going to leave a guide on how to do so. And I'm also going to leave you a link for Jarfix on how to download and run a Jarfix. Running a Jarfix is a three-step process, as you can see in here, and that will take care of fixing your jar files as well so just read through this guide and we also have a video actually on how to fix your java installation so you could watch that as well and then just run the jar fix and that will fix your installer and then you can install optifine and iris to add them to the game also it is very important that whatever version of minecraft you're installing the optifine for you have to run the game once before you install the shaders so let's say that you want to install optifine 1.20 well you actually have to run minecraft 1.20 once at least once on your computer and then completely close out from the game and from the launcher and then install optifine so that might be another issue you might be having so make sure you do that run the game once close it close the launcher and then install your shaders so guys that is pretty much how to install shaders for minecraft java in 2023 i hope you enjoyed this video leave a like and a comment and let me know what other guide you would like to see and as always bye bye